Helen, we're literally just going to get ice cream. It'll be like two hours max. I read that text message from my friends and replied that I was going to seek on my window. It was 11 p.m. and my friends were asking me to come out and hang. I decided that I was going to sneak out as my mom was drifting to sleep. This was my first time ever sneaking out. I grabbed my shoes and mentally prepared myself to sneak out my window. I strategically placed my stuffed animals to make it look like I was still in bed sleeping. As I quietly opened my window, my hands were shaking in fear of getting caught by my mom. I slowly started to remove the window screen. I first threw my back onto the grass and I said goodbye to my very quiet room. I put my left foot out into the cold open air and my whole body followed almost immediately. I had done it. I actually snuck out. After I got in my friend's car, I expected a FaceTime call from my mom asking me where I was and to come back home. Surprisingly, there was no phone call and I felt like I wasn't going to get caught. When I got back home, I quietly snuck in through my back door and was greeted by my mom who was sitting at the living room table with her arms crossed. My heart dropped to my stomach as I tried to come up with any and every excuse to explain where I was. I could hear my heartbeat in my ears. She asked me, where were you? And I really thought that I was going to get a whooping of a lifetime. I was so scared that my whole body was shaking and I could barely respond to her. Let me tell you now that my mom is the epitome of a helicopter mom and I was never allowed out past 10 p.m. I was usually home by 5.30 and no later than 6 on school nights. I told her that I had went out with my close friends to get ice cream, but instead of getting upset with me, my mom asked me why I had decided to sneak out. I explained to her that I've always wanted to sneak out and rebel against her, but had this internal battle between wanting freedom, yet also wanting to please her knowing the sacrifices she's made as an immigrant. We first immigrated to America when I was four, and we came to California knowing no one and no English. My mom left her friends and her family to give my sister and I a better chance at life. She gave up her comfortable life for me. And as I get older, I'm able to see the sacrifices she's made, like not being able to see her brother's kids graduate from college, not being able to be with her mom as she undergoes major surgeries, and also not being able to attend her high school reunions. More and more, I'm able to learn to appreciate all the things she's done for me. And by noticing the sacrifices she's made, I'm able to respect her and understand that I should listen and obey her decisions. We actually came to an agreement that day that as long as I tell her where I'm going and when I'll be back home by, the curfew rule will no longer be in place. And we decided that my new curfew would be 12 a.m.